talking about. Mission 16, win or lose, stand up for your beliefs. That's turtle power. Style, we have Gunslinger today. And we have Ebony and Ivory, Artemis. Rebellion and Cerberus, the good news is that Gunslinger will now allow us to use Artemis. The way it was meant to be used. Bad news is it's still terrible. <laughs> still terrible. I cannot find a way to use this that something else doesn't already do better. So, anyway. Ugh. You can charge up shots like that with Gunslinger. You just have to hold the button down for a while. Then you can do an Acid Rain kind of move. When I use the Acid Rain move, it doesn't seem to attack the targets on the ground. It seems to attack the targets in the air. Which doesn't make much sense because, I mean, unless they're flying already, it's hard to knock them in the air and then use Artemis to use that little globe attack and then go into a uh, brainstorm. Brainstorm? Acid storm? Whatever it's called. Didn't mean to taunt there or get hit there. I came off a little rusty in this one because it's been a little bit for me. But yeah, see, he just went down there and sunk into the floor. Fortunately, we have Ebony and Ivory with us, so this will not be difficult. It's just like I have a wasted equipment slot, though. I have noticed that using the Artemis um, little globe thing, when you like press forward and circle, and it's like he rotates Artemis on his hand and it creates like a sphere, that will actually block projectiles. So it could be good for parrying ranged attacks. But the long charge time is undesirable for damage. And it's really hard to link that into any kind of a style combo. <laughs> I forgot that I had Ebony and Ivory loaded. Because Artemis is always out. I just thought I had it out. See, it doesn't even do that much damage with a full charge, either. It's not really worth it. I imagine it's different on normal mode. I wonder if they tested Artemis on the higher difficulties. Because it doesn't seem like it's very viable in any difficulty besides, uh, besides normal or easy. I mean, hell, Ebony and Ivory is pretty weak damage, but even that's preferable to using Artemis. Wish these guys would just stand still instead of being knocked around by my stinger attack. Oops. Made two of them. Uh, still kind of rusty. That's the thing about switching between different styles and weapons per level is that you don't have much time to acclimate before, to acclimate before you get to the next mission. And honestly, as much as I'd like to play this game over and over and over again, um, going through each stage over and over and over again isn't really all that fun. If I'm not doing this for fun, then what am I doing it for, right? Okay, killed everyone there, now we can proceed. This is where you get the sunstone, which is one of the two stones you need to enter that, that uh, door. He who pursues the eternal power of the Golden Sun released me from the darkness. Golden Sun was a pretty good uh, Game Boy Advance game. Only played the first one though, but I did appreciate its puzzles. Come on, get on there. There we go. The answer is easy, just hit this a bunch of times. I really like the marble sculpturing look of this room, though. It's very memorable. Golden Sun, a sculpture etched in the shape of a golden sun. It contrasts the onyx moon shard. And now we have trouble!
I do like fighting the rooks. They're pretty easy to dodge. They take a beating. Just lets you really, you know, have fun with it. No real dodging necessary. Try to use that globe to deal damage point blank range and says it's gonna move. But even so, it's just it's really not good. Charge of the old Ebony and Ivory. Also kind of a waste of time. Unless you uh, charge up with two separate buttons while shooting with another button. But that's pretty hard to do. I don't like to play with finger gymnastics too much. Oops. The real thing about the chess pieces as well, they're really easy to taunt. It's almost kind of silly because you know, they're just chess pieces. Treating them like they're humans is, or monsters or whatever is just a little weird. Yeah, see almost nothing. For the time investment for that move, it should do a lot more damage. Especially since you have to stand still for like, what, one, one and a half seconds? I try to use it still, just because maybe there's something I haven't figured out yet, but it's just not good. These guys, whenever they get knocked down, will always get back on their feet and charge you in turn. Something to remember. I mean, it looks cool, but it's worthless. You can also do a more broad, uh, broad lockdown. Or lock on if you use a standard standard uh, fire button instead of the uh, style button. But that wasn't getting us anywhere, so I went ahead and left. Yeah, you stay gone. I'm out of here. At this point in the game, the enemies are just more annoying than anything. He who pursues the Onyx Moonshard, blah 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 blah. Yeah, they're more annoying than anything. They just kind of show up. They're either more evasive, they're flying, they're ranged, or they're just tough. This puzzle is easy to solve. You have to put you uh, you have to hit one ball into the other. Bam. Felt pretty good recording that because I have never done that before. Onyx Moonshard, a sculpture etched in the shape of an onyx moon. It contrasts the golden sun. And my favorite enemies of all time. Whatever. Really? <laughs> See that entire rain thing just hit him once.
a full blast didn't even take down a shield. I'm sure it helped though. I mean, it, I know it does some kind of damage, but it's just not strong. I should rename this episode to Artemis Wine Fest. <laughs> I'm just so disappointed that it wasn't very. It's not. A, it's not useful. And it's just. It's on your hand the whole time. Hey, get out of here. We got what we came for. Now these next series of rooms are part of a gauntlet of sorts. You have those blood gargoyles and those archers. Run right past them. They're so hard to fight together. Run past these guys too. The other reason for that is because if you do get hit and you do get knocked down into any of those uh, pitfalls there, you'll go all the way back to where I fought those two angel characters at. And then you have to run it all again. So it's just not worth it to stick around. Same here. The door's unlocked. Let's go ahead and run past the spiders. After all, there's a boss fight at the end of this, and you want to have some kind of health when you get there. What's wrong? You tired? Then stand back. I'll take care of this. No, you stand back! You, you can't do it. Don't you get it? This is not a human's job. You are the one who doesn't get it. It's not something you can reason with. It has nothing to do with me being a human and you being a demon. I'm driven by the inability to forgive him. My soul is screaming, demanding me to kill him. <laughs> That's enough motivation to keep me going. Besides, this is my family matter. You should stay out of it. Okay, lady. I get the picture now, but I can't just sit back and watch either. I'm pretty pissed at him too, you know. Now, get out of my way, or there'll be some consequences. Fair enough. I wasn't planning on letting any demons live anyway. Not even one. Those books! You can't have a live firefight in the library, you're gonna destroy all the books! So yes, the next boss fight is Lady. It's a little bit of hide and seek. It's a little bit of... It's a little bit of hide and seek. <laughs> you see that? No damage. She still has full health. This thing is so weak. If you break line of sight with the target, you lose all your lock-ons. Yeah, I give up on it. That's it. Good old sword and guns time. The cool thing about this lady fight is that you can actually shoot her bullets or attack her bullets with your melee weapon. The other thing is that they're very annoying to get hit by because they'll throw you back. The only real time to attack her is when she's in the middle of doing something. Otherwise, she'll backflip out of it and take no damage. Unfortunately, they telegraph all of her moves by having her say something. And if you shoot at her, she shoots back at you, and your bullets will connect. Okay. 
This is where it's a little gimmicky. She'll just dodge everything. Arrgh! Get so tired of being knocked back by a mere bullet when in just the previous cutscene, we saw Dante take one in the gut without any problems. Whatever, maybe her demon destroying bullets weren't in that clip. But then why would she bring any other kind of bullets? There she is reloading. Let's get a drop on her. Really? No damage. 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 No blood stains. Nothing. I'm not even hitting her. She is dodging every one of my bullets right now. Ridiculous. You know, maybe she has a shot after all with this level of invincibility. Now we're making some progress. She'll get tired out after a little while. If you attack her, she'll back roll and shoot you with bullets again. And they will stun you and knock you back, and it's really annoying. I bet with Royal Guard, you could probably block those bullets and gain a lot of uh, Royal Guard points for it. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, at this point she starts shooting a whole lot of little homing rockets out of the back of her rocket launcher. Just attack her to stop it. Scared lady? You're the one who's in over your head. Come here! Come here! I'm done with this! Ugh! Frankly, at first, I didn't give a damn. But because of you, I know what's important now. I know what I need to do. Wait. Trust me. I'll make things right for you. That's what my soul is telling me to do. Use this. How much is it gonna cost me? You can give me your name. Dante. Dante. Please. Free my father.
Ugh. Alright. That boss fight's over with. We really only have... Well, we still have three more boss fights to go. I was going to say we had more, only one left, but that's not true at all. What was I thinking? Mission clear! Alright. Well, yeah, that was the lady fight. It was, uh... I don't know. It's not a really good fight. Honestly, I, I don't like fighting her at all because of the gimmickry. You know, you saw her dodging every one of my bullets. <laughs> it's insane. But it's cool that, um... Lady, lady gives you Kalina and You know, she gives you the rocket launcher. Kind of like putting her trust into you to take care of the situation. Which, of course, you're gonna take care of. You're Dante. You're Dante. Alright, well, that's it for mission 16. I'll have uh, 17 through 20 posted hopefully next week. So stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.